This video features a selection of the new and updated features from the October 2025 release. The full list of features can be found in the October 2025 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month, we're excited to highlight the following features. The Admin Tools menu is now easier to use with a single column layout, search, and autocomplete, pinning options, and alphabetized items. Distributed administration lets system administrators delegate tasks to sub-org administrators at specific units, reducing bottlenecks in large organizations. In quizzes, instructors now see warnings if a question pool has too few questions and can choose to hide point values for more flexible assessments. Learners now always see the comments and assessments column in grades, ensuring consistent access to feedback. In Brightspace Parent and Guardian, teachers can view activity feeds and weekly summary emails exactly as parents see them, supporting clear communication. The Courses tool now supports source courses, making it easier to re-offer, reset, and deploy content at scale. The Media Library now supports images, office files, PDFs, and SCORM packages, with folders, version control, and collaboration tools. In Creator Plus, a redesigned picker simplifies access to H5P content. With D2L Lumi Pro, instructors can align quiz questions to outcomes and auto-generate feedback with AI. Still in Lumi Pro, instructors can access quiz analytics with Lumi Insights and modify content pages with AI. And finally, the single profile widget now supports Instagram, LinkedIn, and email links, offering more ways to connect with learners. To wrap things up, we'll take a quick look at changes to other key features and share some important announcements. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. The Admin Tools menu has been redesigned for a faster and more efficient experience. Now, administrators can search, filter, and pin tools directly in the menu, making it easier to access what they need. The new layout also includes a single column view and alphabetized pinned items for quick navigation. Default pin tools include courses, users, roles and permissions, and more, giving admins immediate access to key features. This feature is available to all Brightspace core clients. To enable, set the new admin tools menu configuration variable to on. Starting with the February 2026 release, this feature will be permanently enabled and will no longer be optional. This feature implements the following pie item, D11487, Admin Tools Cog Needs Search Feature. Thank you to those who put forward this pie suggestion. To reduce bottlenecks for system administrators managing large organizations, this release introduces distributed administration. Distributed administration allows system administrators at the organization level to delegate specialized tasks to sub-org administrators that are restricted to specific sub-org units and their descendants. For example, in a large school board, a system administrator can assign sub-org administrators to manage specific schools. Those sub-org administrators can then perform delegated tasks, such as creating courses and templates, changing course start and end dates, adjusting availability statuses, deleting course offerings and templates, and creating or editing org units. This release focuses on courses and org unit editor supporting distributed administration capabilities, and there will be more tools supporting it in the future. Once enabled, a sub-org administrator can log in to the organization homepage, navigate to their assigned sub-org unit homepage, and access the courses and org unit editor tools via the course admin page. Here, they can complete tasks directly at their sub-org level. This feature is available to all clients. To enable, system administrators must configure the course path enforced variable to on, create a custom sub-org unit type, and assign the necessary role permissions for both the courses tool and the org unit editor at the sub-org unit level. This feature implements the following pie item. D9442, admin user search searches enrollments in all departments. Thank you to those who put forward this pie suggestion. Instructors can now see a clear status indicator whenever a question pool doesn't have enough questions. If a quiz tries to pull more questions than a pool contains, a clear warning icon now appears in Manage Quizzes, the Quiz Builder, and during grading. 
This means instructors can spot and fix issues before learners attempt the quiz, ensuring a smoother and more reliable experience. Even during course imports or copies, the system now prevents pools with too few questions being carried over. This update removes the guesswork and helps instructors maintain quiz integrity with confidence. This feature is available to all Brightspace core clients and is automatically enabled. Instructors can now choose to hide point values on quiz questions. This option helps learners focus equally on all questions without trying to infer the number of correct answers or the importance of a question based on its score. It's especially useful for multi-select or written response questions where point values might hint at how many answers are expected. It also supports diagnostic assessments like subject knowledge audits or baseline knowledge checks by shifting attention away from scoring and toward understanding. To use this feature, simply select Hide Question Point Values in the Timing and Display section when editing or creating a quiz. It's available to all Brightspace core clients. By default, this option is off. This feature implements the following pie items. D2934, Hide Point Value of Quiz Questions. D10418, Option to Hide Point Value of Quiz Questions. Thank you to those who put forward these pie suggestions. Learners now always see the Comments and Assessments column in the Grades tool, making instructor feedback in rubrics, assignments, and quizzes consistently visible. Previously, this column only appeared when feedback was added. Now it's always on, ensuring learners never miss important assessment details. Teachers can now view activity feeds from the parent or guardian perspective, making it easier to understand what families see and improve communication. This update builds on the View as Parent and Guardian feature by adding access to the latest post's activity feed. Teachers can now see exactly what's shared with parents and filter by course, helping to ensure clear, consistent messaging. It's available to all Brightspace core clients in the K-12 segment. Teachers need the appropriate Brightspace parent and guardian permissions to use. This feature implements the following pie item. D5846, Brightspace for parents, tracking parent access and engagement. Thank you to those who put forward this pie suggestion. Also in Brightspace parent and guardian, teachers can now view the weekly summary email exactly as parents and guardians see it, improving transparency and helping ensure consistent communication. This email gives a snapshot of student activity across all enrolled courses for the week. From the class list, teachers simply select Parent Guardian Information, then View Weekly Summary. This visibility helps teachers confirm the right information is reaching families, ultimately supporting better outcomes for students. It's available to all Brightspace core clients in the K-12 segment. Required parent and guardian permissions must be assigned. This release adds source course org units to the courses tool. Source courses act as a single ongoing source of content that you can easily reoffer and deploy across multiple courses. Source courses enable learning administrators to manage your organization's retraining and recertification content at scale and reoffer the content in new course offerings. Administrators in higher ed or K-12 can also use source courses to prepare content for new semesters or school years. It's available to all Brightspace core clients. Specific permissions are required to manage source courses. Now, administrators can quickly select a source course and re-offer it with updated details like start and end dates. This makes it easier to manage courses across multiple semesters or training periods. It's available to all Brightspace core clients. To use this functionality, ensure the appropriate permissions are granted at the organization level for source course and re-offer. This feature implements the following pie items. D3078, allow for course versioning. D6197, reissue of completion certificate and reset of course progress for the same course offering. D9462, reset learner status. D11807, ability to reset a user's experience in a course. Thank you to those who put forward these pie suggestions. Administrators can now deploy the contents of a source course to multiple inactive course offerings in one streamlined workflow. Using the Courses tool,
they can reset each target course and push content from a source course. This replaces the manual copy course components process, saving time, reducing errors, and ensuring content consistency at scale. This feature is available to all Brightspace core clients. To enable, turn on the courses tool and assign the necessary permissions. The media library just got more powerful with new tools to organize and manage your course assets. Instructors can now upload not just videos, but also images, office files, PDFs, and SCORM packages for reuse. Create folders to sort content by type or topic, and use the new Manage Versions menu to update files without breaking links. Admins can also add collaborators to folders, making shared content management easier across teams. This feature is available to all Brightspace core clients. Collaboration requires the right content service permissions. Instructors using the new Creator Plus add-on can now access H5P content faster through a redesigned picker in the Authoring Tools menu. Selecting H5P Interactives opens a dialog where instructors can filter, search, and select content types, all directly within Brightspace. This new workflow replaces the older, multi-step process through the Creator Plus page menu, saving time and simplifying interactive content creation. The updated experience improves visibility, discoverability, and usability of H5P tools for instructors. Instructors using D2L Lumi Pro can now align quiz questions to learning outcomes with help from AI. From the quiz editor, selecting outcomes now reveals a suggest outcome button, making it faster and easier to align content using AI-generated suggestions. This feature is available as part of the D2L Lumi Pro for Brightspace package, an optional add-on to Brightspace Core. Previously, this option wasn't available for quiz questions, requiring manual alignment only. To enable, ensure your org is entitled to D2L Lumi Pro for Brightspace, the generative AI tool is active, and instructors have the Generate Learning Outcome Alignments permission. Instructors using D2L Lumi Pro can now auto-generate answer-level feedback when creating questions, helping instructors give learners more targeted, automated responses. From the Generate Questions screen, a new checkbox lets instructors include AI-generated feedback for multiple choice, true or false, and multi-select questions. This helps reinforce learning while keeping instructors in control. They can edit or remove feedback before publishing. To enable, Ensure your org is entitled to D2L Lumi Pro for Brightspace, the generative AI tool is active, and instructors have the Generate Questions permission. Instructors using D2L Lumi Pro now get built-in quiz analytics with Lumi Insights, available directly in the new content experience when study support is enabled. Displayed above the completion summary, Insights highlight the most missed question, most recommended activity, and the most viewed content. Previously, no analytics were shown on the quiz display screen. Now, instructors can quickly identify where learners are struggling and which resources are making an impact. To enable, ensure your org is entitled to D2L Lumi Pro for Brightspace, the generative AI tool is active, and the quiz with study support is added to the table of contents in courses using the new content experience. Instructors using D2L Lumi Pro can now modify content pages with AI directly in the new content experience. The new Modify with AI button lets instructors adjust text complexity, apply custom instructions, and preview changes in real time. They can save the updated page or keep both versions for future use. This new workflow helps tailor content to different audiences and instructional goals, all without leaving the editor. To enable, Ensure your org is entitled to D2L Lumi Pro for Brightspace, the generative AI tool is active, and instructors have the Modify and Refine Pages permission. This feature is only available in the new content experience. A single profile widget now supports Instagram, LinkedIn, and email links, giving instructors more ways to connect with learners. In edit mode, new input fields let users add each link with proper formatting checks. Icons only display when links are provided and adjust automatically based on the widget's width. This feature is available as part of the Homepage Widget Expansion Pack, an optional add-on to Brightspace Core. No additional configuration or permissions are needed. 
Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. For keyboard navigation users, tabs in Brightspace no longer auto-select as you move through them. To activate tabs, press the Tab key or the arrow keys to move, then hit Space or Enter. This change is based on guidance from W3 Best Practices and only affects a few pages in content, quizzes, and terms and conditions. When creating assignments, instructors now select the assignment type from a drop-down menu instead of radio buttons, modernizing the interface and reducing setup friction. When creating assignments, instructors now see tooltips, visual cues, and on-screen guidance that clearly show which assignment types support annotations, reducing confusion and setup errors. When embedding H5P interactives in an HTML topic, instructors can now choose whether to create a gradebook item giving them more control over course setup and grading. DataHub has a new Brightspace dataset, Reoffer Course, to track the creation and distribution of reoffered courses. DataHub is delivering improvements to existing Brightspace datasets, giving administrators faster access to richer data for reporting and analysis. Course Reset now deletes learning outcomes data allowing course administrators and instructional designers to confidently reset a course and start fresh. Some permission names for locales and language management are updated to better demonstrate what the permissions allow users to do. Groups API routes are now aligned with the capabilities of the Groups tool. Administrators can now select an unlimited number of courses and perform bulk edits such as edit status and edit dates removing the previous limit of 50 courses. However, bulk delete remains limited to 50 selections. The ability to control the appearance and requirements of fields such as department and semester is now handled solely by configuration variables in the courses tool. When creating course offerings through one roster CSV or REST, administrators can now set them to inactive by default, giving more control over when courses become visible to instructors and learners. Achievement levels now expand with the right panel on evaluation pages, and layout enhancements on feedback pages better utilize available space, improving readability for long or numerous level names. Assignments with third-party processing tools now copy with their tools, ensuring consistent behavior in destination courses. Note that this requires the Activity ID History substitution parameter to be enabled at registration. LTI Advantage 1.3 Deep Links and LTI 1.1 Content Item Links are now consistently identified by the BRIC symbol across all Brightspace areas. Note that custom images for LTI 1.1 links remain unchanged. The LTI deployment now automatically enables the org unit information security setting by default. This simplifies third-party integration configuration and improves interoperability for LTI tools with dynamic registration. Before wrapping up, here are some announcements we're excited to share. All Brightspace datasets version 9 datasets are removed from Analytics Builder, effective September 30th, 2025. D2L is continuing to unlist outdated Brightspace tutorial videos that no longer reflect current interfaces and workflows. Embedded links in Brightspace documentation have already been updated to point to the latest versions. For a list of added, unlisted, and removed videos, refer to the Brightspace tutorial video updates added, unlisted, removed link in the video description box. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As always, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the October 2025 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!